OK, so in the previous video, uh, we saw how E can be written as the limit as n tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the n. Now, there is another way that we can write it, and that is as an infinite series. OK, now, without the knowledge of McLaren series, as uh, I've gone through that a couple of times in videos before, uh, I'm actually going to use the binomial expansion method okay, that we have here. And I'm going to consider the expansion of this 1 plus 1 over n to the n. Okay? So, this must be the limit as n tends to infinity of, let's have a bigger bracket. Now we're going to expand this 1, over, 1 plus 1 over n to the n using the uh, binomial expansion that we know of. So, 1 plus, now, n times x, so n times 1 over n, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, so just 2, times by x squared, so 1 over n squared, plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all over 3 factorial, which is 6, times by x cubed, so 1 over n cubed, plus a host of other terms. OK? So what we want to do is we want to simplify this. So we're going to keep that limit outside the big bracket, and let's simplify. So we've got 1 plus n times 1 over n, well, that's just 1, plus, now we've got n times n minus 1, so n squared minus n all over, now 1 over n squared is 1 over n squared, so we've got 2n squared in the denominator when that simplifies. Now over here we've got n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, so expanding that numerator we would have n cubed, we'd have minus 3n squared, and then plus 2n. In the denominator, because we've got that 1 over n cubed, we'd have 6n cubed, plus all those other terms. OK, so what have we got here? Let's keep going. Now, I'm just going to leave that 1 plus 1 there. Now, what I'm going to do with each of these, I'm going to split them into their principal parts, into, their, into separate fractions. So we've got n squared over 2n squared. Well, that's just a half. And we've got minus n over 2n squared. So that's minus 1 over 2n when the n's have cancelled. So there the n squared's cancelled. There, 1n cancelled. Plus n cubed over 6n cubed is just 1 sixth. Then we've got minus 3n squared over 6n cubed. So that's minus 1 over 2n. And then 2n over 6n cubed is plus 1 over 3n squared. And then there's all those other terms. OK. Now, as n tends to infinity, these terms that have an n in the denominator will get closer and closer and closer to zero. So the limit of this is 1 plus 1 plus a half plus 1 sixth uh, plus etc. OK? Now, how can we write this? Well, this is actually 1 over 0 factorial. Because 0 factorial is just 1, remember? 1 could be written as 1 over 1 factorial. 1 half is 1 over 2 factorial. 1, of, one sixth is 1 over 3 factorial. And we're going to get 1 over 4 factorial, 1 over 5 factorial, 6 factorial, and so on. And so we can write this as the sum of, let's say, r, going from 0 to infinity, of 1 over r factorial. And so, e 
can also be written as an infinite series, like so.